In this video, we compare Google Maps and Waze. So, let's get into it. Starting with the interface, Google Maps is more crowded. It shows many places and it has those bottom and top rows taking some of its space. Waze has a bottom row that does all the job. You can set home and work addresses and access all the settings. Google Maps supports multiple map views. You can see the satellite and train views and adjust the map details to show the relevant data. Those bushfire and air quality features are location dependent. Alright, it's time to see the supported transit options. Again, Google Maps is the winner. It supports private cars, public transport, cycling and walking. In some regions, we also find motorbike routes. Its public transport is so versatile that you can see the live location of buses. Waze lets you choose from a private vehicle, taxi or motorcycle. Although I don't see much difference, choosing the right vehicle may help in getting there quicker. It's time to explore the offline maps. Yes, Google Maps supports downloading maps. It also has the feature to go offline. The app does not download the whole city or country, but you can download a part of the map. Those maps have an expiry date, so you must update before the expiry. Also, there's no traffic data in the offline mode. Waze does not support offline maps as it relies on other Wazers for the data. Talking about navigation, I found this round to be the most prominent. Both let you add stops and share your route. You can schedule trips on Waze and set reminders. Google Maps has trip reminders only on iPhones and iPads. Both let you report things. Waze supports more reporting types including speed cameras, police, traffic, crashes and closures. Google Maps is still rolling out this feature, so the reporting types are location dependent. The common ones are crashes, mobile camera and roadworks. The power of Waze is its speed camera reminder. Waze alerts you if there is a speed camera close by in your route. This is missing from Google Maps. I think Google Maps is more accurate when it comes to traffic reporting. This is because it takes data from Google Maps, Android Auto and other Google products. Waze is also great and will work better in some locations. But overall, Google Maps is accurate. Waze has a music option to play music, but you must have a compatible app installed. Google Maps takes full control of your device. First, it turns on Do Not Disturb. You will still get calls and messages, but controlled by Maps. You can change the navigation settings in this menu. The app has this menu to make calls, send messages and play music and stuff. This whole section is based on Android Auto, designed to help you navigate without many distractions. Both show your vehicle's speed. There isn't much difference to be honest. Waze has the speed data for more roads. Google Maps only shows the limit for main roads. You hear a tone and see the road limit when you cross it in both apps. Let's talk about voice navigation. You can set both to speak everything or just the alerts. Overall, I find that Google Maps voice is more pleasant. However, you can always try different accents and voices. Google Maps has 60 languages and Waze has voices in about 185. The app also has more voices in English compared to Google Maps. Lastly, you can record your own voice for navigation commands. Before we go, let's discuss how users can contribute to the maps. Both have a points system and as you report things, your points increase. Google Maps gives you points for photos, reviews, ratings, etc. And Waze gives you points for reporting things on the road. Although you don't get much, from time to time events are held and prizes are delivered for contributing. So which one is for you? I think that Google Maps is the one to choose if you are a private car owner. It's versatile and has many amazing options that we don't find anywhere else. Waze is a navigation app used to go from one place to another. It will benefit taxi and rideshare drivers who want to be informed about safety cameras and stuff. With that said, this is it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts about the two below.
and take care.